we've got the news that we're going to be going out in the UK. So I'm going to do a spring makeup look, which is nice and fresh, but also a bit glam and in the spirit. So if you didn't see my other video, I've now got a family channel. We're going to hopefully be going traveling when everything opens up. So if you're interested in family, travel, vlogs, things like that, then follow me on this channel here. I'll pop the link here. So let's get started. Right, so I'm going to prep the skin with this. So this is Glossier Future Dew. It is marvellous. It gives you the glowiest skin. It basically looks like you've just applied all your serums and moisturiser, but it just stays that way. Really nice. So I'm going to go in with some Jane Ardell Glow Time. I feel really nervous about doing this in a white jumper. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get it everywhere. So I'm going to buff it in. The reason why you buff it in is because you get more of like a sheerer sort of glowy look I'm using a sponge I use a sponge if I want it to look a little bit denser and like not as like blended with the skin does that make sense next I'm just going to go in with some Smashbox concealer this is quite a light colour because even though like I'm not doing like a really thick makeup I still want to have like a brighter under eye this is like my favourite all time concealer brush and this is by Nonchi I think it's just so good for getting like all in, you know, where you need to get. And then in with the console, I am going to use a Smashbox pencil. I want it quite precise. like bend this bit round it gives you like, a, like the appearance of like a fuller cheek I don't want to move it too far so I'm just doing it quite sort of gently so next I'm going to use a few little halo drops this just gives you a really nice sort of like strobe glow it's like an iridescent-y colour. Blend it really, really well. I'm going to go on with the blush, so I'm going to use Daniel Sana Watercolour in Petal. So you only need like a little bit of this. And again, I'm just going to... Sort of like stipple that on. So it's like a nice sort of like in between a peach and a pink. It's really nice. Just to, like add a little bit around the face. I'm just going to add some freckles on. A really, really sharp brown liner. So the secret to freckles is you use a really light hand. And then as it blunts, it sort of creates different size freckles too. I like to take a dry sponge. So I'm going to be using a creamy sort of eyeshadow, but I just want to show you this before because I've been using this on my brushes. Because anybody who likes to keep their makeup brushes like sanitised and you're about that life, I know some of you don't wash your dirty brushes, this is for you. So let me show you this. So you just turn it on. Can you see that? And just sprays it with a sanitising mist. So it's so good for makeup. It's by Atmosphere and I'll pop the link underneath if you do want to try that out. So I'm going to be using a cream shadow here. This is called Caramel Candy. I'm just applying it like around the sockets and like upwards like that. And a little bit underneath too. I want to go right into there. You can use a clean brush afterwards and like make sure it's all really blended. I'm going to pop a small amount of this Daniel Sandler's um, I delight in peach, just into the centre bit in the corner. Again, just blend that in. That's just going to lighten up the corners of the eyes. So next I'm going to pop on just a light lash, so I'm going to be using these. Just go with some of the lighter lashes. And this is the adhesive, so, so it says shake this, press the button, it says 
by eight to 10 minutes. So before I do that, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Wonder 2 Selfie Perfect powder underneath the eyes. Or it doesn't sort of budge. Why does that always happen? I've done that in ages, but it's so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit more of this powder on. Just on this area. That will make it glossy, not greasy. Right now, I'm going to put this liner on. Very precise pen, so that's good. I love these things. Oh my god! I mean, that is really bloody good. Inside, that is the easiest I've ever put eyelashes on ever. And I'm just going to use this Revolution Pro pencil just to add some little flicks into my brows. These are so good if you don't like, you know, like a really, like a blocky brow. These pencils run out so quickly when they're so fine. It's really good because it's not expensive, this one. And I'm just taking some Gosh Brow Gel. I'm just going to finish with some MAC Fix Plus. And that is a look done. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. And if anybody's got any other ideas or videos you'd like to see, then please let me know.